And welcome back to another episode of the Saga of Spurs Spawns a Lot, who, by the way, in the hour and a half to two hours that uh, we haven't been here, spawned three times. Fortunately, we didn't lose anything. Um, yeah, I just kept dying. But regardless, uh, wanted to bring you guys back because some exciting stuff has happened. So I was uh, cruising up the coast. As you can see, we're up on the northeast side near this mountain here, a little bit to the east of the mountain. Um, I was cruising up the coast looking for potential spots uh, to put up a base on this side so that we can cover more of the map and uh, saw a level 90 RG. Um, I put you down for just a second. I didn't mean to leave you there. I forgot about you. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so we saw a level 90 female RG that we can breed with Blackbeak and start getting some really good RGs. So uh, I threw together this uh, RG trap. Well, threw together. Oh, I forgot to put the door on it. Uh, do I still? Okay, cool. I crafted the door already. Wait, that's just, what am I doing? I did see the door there though. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, so we crafted this RG trap really quick. Uh, I think we went over the. RG trap. Uh, I think we went over the RG trap before. It's the same same thing. So, uh, yeah, it's pillars and a dinosaur gate. And I'd like it to be facing the other direction, but uh, whoops. I put the door in too late to be able to pick up the... Oh well, that's fine. Uh, I threw some torches on it so that I can easily find it because we've got to go find that RG and then I'm not used to this part... Not used to this part of the map so I wanted to make sure I could easily find my trap. Can I still see the... Okay, cool. Alright, so... Man, it is dark. Uh, but the RG was right over here. Where you at, girl? Um, there's a, a, a dinosaur that I've never seen before over here, too. That is monstrous. It's like a, a bigger Rex. I gotta make sure that I don't accidentally run into it. Because it was right around here somewhere. And I can't see anything in this light. Oh, is this the is this the girl? Oh, just missed her. Are you the level ninety? Come on. Oh, come on, get that! Oh, come on! Oh no! Oh, no! <laughs> All right. Well, let's find out. Are you the level 90? I can't, I still can't tell. Uh, I hear it following me. Now, the problem with this is that we have an RG, not a Pteranodon. So, uh... We're not going to be able to fit through. Oh gosh, are you kidding me? I'm so bad with the telescope. Okay, there we go. No, you're a male level 60. Are you kidding me? Come on now, buddy. You just made me waste some time. I thought that you were the female level 90. I'm trying to show my viewers this level 90 female that we found and and you're just trying to mess everything up buddy so you got to go oh cool it's starting to get a little bit lighter maybe we can see our girl I'm hoping that she didn't like attack the wolves that I'm hearing right now or the massive t-rex it's not a t-rex but the massive there she is all right all right, let's get some stamina up. I hear those wolves howling. You guys hear those wolves howling? They're coming for us. But uh, let's see here. 
Um, you may end up having to tank this, buddy, so sorry about that. Uh, go ahead and eat some meat and get yourself some more hit points. 6,000 hit points. You should be able to survive while I... while I trank her out. Alright, so let's actually make sure that you don't kill her. Uh, where's a good spot to land? Let's go land up here. Looks like I can probably jump off. Yeah, okay. Well, the wolves are fighting right there. But let's go ahead and get you on passive. Alright, let's go get ourselves a mate for Blackbeak. Alright, girl. How you doing? You looking good. You got the red, white, and blue event colors. Wait, wait, wait. Come take a bite. Come take a bite. This is where that crazy thing was. He was, like, preventing anybody from getting that note. Come on, go ahead. You can hit me. I, I want you to stay with me. You're a little slow here. Come on, girl. There you go. There you go. Ouch. Okay, there you go. catch up a little bit here no no don't turn around hold on hold on come here honey right here right here hey hey there you go I just need to keep making sure that she's right behind me Alright, I'm really sorry, Blackbeak. Uh, you wanna let me out? Let me out. Cool, she's currently not attacking Blackbeak. Oh, right as I say that. Alright, come on, girl. Leave Blackbeak alone. You're gonna be mating with him later. Okay? Hold on. Sorry, Blackbeak. Hold on. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, man, I feel bad. He's getting wrecked in there. Okay, now she's trying to run. Good. You're good, Blackbeak. You're good, buddy. All right, buddy. How bad is it? Let's see. Oh, it's not bad at all. You barely got hurt. You're awesome. All right, let's take a look at her. 1533, 700 stamina, 496 weight, 165 melee. Not the greatest, not the greatest, but not bad. And level 90 is close to max on this. I think like 103 or 105 is max. Um, unless it's tech, of course, and then it gets a, a boosted max. But <clears throat> this is not bad. This is definitely not bad. So we've got potential here. Uh, we've got some prime from those Argents that we killed. So we'll give that to her. We'll give her a couple stacks of meat, too. I'm not really going to starve her out. I'm just going to give it to her. Um, should be good. Oh, I went around to all the different mortar and pestles we have set up, by the way, because we have them set up in so many different places. And... Uh, I went and grabbed all the stuff that's been crafting in them, and oh my goodness, we have a lot of... I mean, I thought we had a lot just at the island base, but 
and if you added up all the other ones, it was incredible. I think we ended up with like eight or nine hundred narcotics. It's crazy. Um, so that was exciting. And then I crafted a bunch more darts, which are always necessary and awesome. Oh, we killed a couple of, uh, there were some Allosauruses over here. I forgot to loot their bags, but they were not high level. Uh, I think the highest level one was 24. The alpha was 24. Um, I wonder if we could use this trap for Allosauruses. This guy uh, came over earlier and attacked Blackbeak while I was uh, finishing up some building. And of course, I had Blackbeak going passive, so he's just taking it. And I see these yellow texts. I'm like, what the hell? But yeah, Blackbeak made quick work of it once I whistled neutral. Uh, but yeah, that worked out really well, actually, uh, making sure that we had the uh, visibility needed by throwing the torches up here so that we could see where we were going to. Uh, and then obviously th this trap just works really good for Argentavis's. Uh, I feel bad that we had Blackbeak tank that, but you know, he pulled through like a champ, barely took any damage, uh, which isn't actually super promising for the, for the female that we're taming, but hey, you know, it is what it is. All right, how you doing, girl? 20% for the first prime meet. So then that'll do it. Uh, we'll go ahead and wait this one out. Um, here, let's take a good look at her. So we've got a little bit of the dark red from the event on the uh, crest here. I th I'm pretty sure that's the event red, not the other red. She's got green on her wingtips. Uh, she's got the normal red for the Argents on her wings, and it looks like kind of a yellowish uh, quick little highlight on under the wings. Um, eh. She's not the prettiest one. She's not bad. It'd be cool if the green was if, like if the green was on her body because that's a pretty cool green. I like that green. Uh, it's like a forest green. Pretty cool. But we'll see if we can uh, get the green on the body of one of the babies, maybe. Because definitely we'll be using this one to to breed uh, with him. Unless we can find a better one that we just happen to stumble across. Because that happens. But anyway, uh, yeah, it was exciting to, to run across this while we were looking for a new base location. Um, I'll probably look around here and see. Because uh, there's metal right over there. Um... I mean, I don't want to build a base here, but I'm wondering if I should be picking up the the trap. I'll leave it for now because, you know, if we had some Allosaurus to spawn nearby, um, then maybe we'll get some more to spawn nearby. I know that, or I think that the foundations block the dino spawn too, the pillar foundations, I'm not sure. Um, I know they block resource spawns, which is uh, sad. But uh, if they don't block the dino spawns, then if the spawn was around here, then we can get more aloes. If the spawn was off to the side or something, then we should be able to get more aloes anyway. So either way, uh, it should be good. Um, I don't think that we're going to need any narcotics for this girl. Yeah, she's barely gone down and she's already up over 40%. So um, I might run and get that purple drop really quick because it's not far. Oh, let me close the door. Well, should I... I'm not sure if I should leave her here. I don't know the area that well. Let me close the door and take a look around the area and see if there's any predators around. Um, definitely don't want her to lose her taming effectiveness because I'm hoping that she gets some like really good health or melee in the taming levels. Oh, this is kind of cool in here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I like the I, I really like the forest and jungle areas. Oh look, it's a kangaroo. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look at that. What level are you? You're cool. Did that say level six? Level ninety. Hmm. 
Hmm. Huh. Hold on a second there, buddy. I'm gonna come back for you, girl. Let me just get some electronics and elements and stuff really quick. Oh, thank you. Uh, and then make sure that there's nothing up and down this beach. Looks like the coast is clear. Let's go ahead and take out this kangaroo and bring her home. That is cool. That is really cool. I'm... Oh, wait. What are you doing? You go sit over there. Alright. What do we got here? Whoops. Yeah, we missed. Alright, let's try that again. There we go. Alright. They're so cute. I like the colors on it too. It's like kind of a black and tan almost. I mean, it's a dark brown, but dark brown and tan I like it I like it oh good girl you went down already all right let's take a look at you yeah this thing looks cool uh, let's see I know we have major berries but let's try the citrus yeah Let's give you 10, 10 citronol. Let's see if you like that. Okay. Put food in inventory to detain. Okay, so you don't like the citronol. Okay, it's, since it's not eating it at all, I'm assuming it doesn't like veggies at all. Um, let me try berries. Let's try the berries. No to the berries too, huh? Um, what do you eat? You don't eat meat. Definitely not meat. Uh, oh, you know, I did one of these with uh, Avery and Ragnarok. I think it eats either the flowers or the mushrooms. I can't remember which. Let's... Let's try the flowers. Let's try the mushrooms. Hey! It's the mushrooms. Alright, so we'll take all this other stuff back. I hope I have enough mushrooms on there for you. Uh, and hopefully once you're tamed up, you'll eat just regular food. Like maybe some berries. I'll put some berries on you so that once you're tamed up, you can eat those. Because that's what you're gonna get uh, and I'm gonna take my rare mushrooms back uh, so hopefully she's good with that because otherwise like yeah that won't be good anyway yeah this is kind of how it goes man you know uh, go to do one thing end up doing something else end up getting something exciting something new uh, now let's run up and get our Argentavis and then we'll run back and check on the Procraptodon the kangaroo. There's the trap. Are you up, girl? You should be up. You're not up yet. <coughs> Alright, well, you'll be up soon. And I have to think of what I'm going to name you. Mm -mm. I don't know. All right, let's see how fast that torpidity goes down with the Procopton on thing. I hope I'm getting that name right. 
and then we'll be back with her because we know that she's not going to uh, have any issues whatsoever. Plus, our Procoptodon is kind of like out in the open. Uh, where are you? Are you this way or are you the other way? There you are. And I don't want mosquitoes to come, so get rid of that. I hate those mosquitoes. Okay, well your torpidity is going down a lot faster than the Argentavis was. You'll probably be okay, but what I'm going to do, uh, you look like you're going to be like right on the line. So we're going to give you five drugs and have you eat them right now. And then we know we don't have to check on you for quite some time. Then we're going to run up. We're going to go get the Argentavis. And then we'll bring her back down here. And Blackbeak and the female Argentavis can guard the Procoptodon while it finishes up. Uh, she should be up any second now. She might be up right now. So anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, that's the way it goes in ARC. This is a, this was a fun day. Uh, you know, I, I got to live up to my name. Osir spawns a lot, and it happens uh, pretty much every game that I live up to my name uh, or every time I play. But uh, this was fun, and I had a really good time playing with you guys today. Uh, we got some new, we got a new Argentavis to breed with Blackbeak. We got a new dinosaur that I don't have in this game, and that's really cool. We saw a Titanosaur, a tit Titanosaur, and we saw a Gigantonosaurus, a Giganton, not a, well, whatever. There's a, a Gigantosaurus, there's like a, whatever, there's a really big T-Rex that's on the other side of this mountain uh and that's cool so uh yeah hope you guys had a great day and i will catch you guys on the next episode